5.58 p.m., November 7th, 2015, a strange object is spotted flying over the California coast. The object is in the sky for several minutes. 911 is flooded with calls from terrified onlookers. Police are unable to tell people what they are seeing. Helicopters are sent up to monitor the situation. Then, the object brightens. It expands into an amazing display of spiraling clouds, and then the glowing aftermath lingers in the sky for many minutes, seemingly frozen. The UFO was spotted by thousands of people along the California coast, and some as far as Arizona and Nevada, hundreds of miles away. It was one of the biggest modern mass UFO sightings. The next morning, the Navy reported that the sighting was an unarmed Trident missile launched by the nearby USS Kentucky. But is that what people really saw? After the Navy's announcement, most were quick to lose interest in the amazing sight, but some weren't so quick to accept the government's response. The object didn't look quite like any other Trident missile tests of the past, though there were some similarities. The spiraling clouds that burst out of the front of the object are unlike any missile launch. The increasing glow as the object seems to reach a certain velocity is completely unlike similar tests. And then, after the big burst, the craft seems to disappear, while missiles tend to continue on their path. This object almost seems to disappear, as if it reached or created some sort of wormhole. And the official story raises some other questions, like why was nobody warned that the Navy would be firing a missile over one of the biggest cities in the United States? Why were police not notified? Why did it take nearly 24 hours before an official statement was given? And why were flight restrictions brought in for coming weeks at the Los Angeles International Airport? Navy Commander Ryan Perry said in a statement, The Strategic Systems Program does not routinely announce missile testing. Information regarding the test launch of such missiles is classified prior to the launch. A single Trident missile costs $70 million. While it's true that the Navy doesn't announce most missile tests, this particular test was fired from the Pacific Ocean towards San Diego. Why would the Navy fire a missile, even a test missile, towards the second biggest metropolitan area of the United States? The story simply doesn't add up. This wasn't the first strange spiraling object seen by many over a large city, and it's not the first time the military took credit for something as strange as what was seen over California. In 2009, a spiraling UFO was spotted over Norway. The amazing spiral in Norway was also questioned by those who saw it, unsatisfied when they were told that it was likely a failed Russian missile test. Some suggested that it was a rare variant of the Northern Lights. Others postulated that it was a craft coming, or going, through a sort of artificially manufactured wormhole. And just weeks before, a similar spiral was seen over Israel. Each time, news media has been quick to debunk the curious, often mocking anyone suggesting that they've seen anything other than a missile. It may have been a missile that flew through the skies of California, but people shouldn't be so quick to accept the official story, given California's history with UFO sightings. On February 25th, 1942, during the Second World War, an object was seen over Santa Monica. Panicked U.S. troops began firing at the object with anti-aircraft guns. Six planes flew up to battle the object. The battle went on for over an hour, and over 1,400 rounds of anti-aircraft ammunition were unloaded, but the object never went down. Multiple homes were destroyed in the chaos. And the official government statement? The object was a mirage. Government officials have a long history of coming up with absurd official statements regarding UFOs, from the famous swamp gas to planets in retrograde. While the object spotted over California on November 7, 2015 may not have been an alien ship, it very well could have been technology that the government doesn't want the public to know about. Why else would they fail to warn anyone about the launch, including the police or the massive nearby international airport? A simple warning would have gone a long way in stopping the ensuing panic. People were caught off guard, and there wasn't enough time for videographers to swap to their telephoto lenses to get a closer look at the object, and that's probably why the test wasn't announced. The military didn't want people to know that the object seen over the California coast was not a Trident missile. What a few dozen people managed to capture on their camera phones was likely something that the public wasn't meant to see at all, just like whatever was seen over Norway, and whatever was seen over Israel, and whatever was seen over Australia. Enjoy this video, please click like and subscribe.